The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. Our Weed of the Week is common ragweed, and unfortunately, it's Roundup-resistant common ragweed. Well, it's getting to be tougher to control because Roundup doesn't get it, but guess what? Liberty still does a nice job on common yep. ragweed when it's relatively small, so you do have a non-selective option that you can use. However, there aren't a whole lot of conventional options. We'll get into what those well, products are. All right, let's talk in the easy crops. So corn, this is a piece of cake. You use Verdict Down. You could even use Triple Flex, Sure Start, Balance Flex, something like that pre. Post-emerge, we like status the best, although Diflex is really good, Clarity is really good with a little atrazine, even Buctral atrazine isn't that bad. You've avoided uh, the HPPDs though. I think the HPPDs do a pretty nice job right. and you can spray them a little bit later in the season. So if you get a late flush, you can still go with the Callisto or Lattice, Impact, Especially Armazon. when you throw just a little bit of atrazine, even a quarter pound of atrazine in there, it really kicks that control up. All right. Okay, how about wheat? Well, in wheat, we start out with Sharpen Down. That's going to give you some residual control. You can use a good strong rate of Sharpen Down ahead of wheat. I like that. Then post-emerge Husky is my favorite choice. You've got Buctrel plus an HPPD in there. That seems to do the best job. Okay, now we get to the tough ones, soybeans. Our suggestion is start with the three pre strategy. And I realize that the yellows aren't very good on ragweed. They might have a little bit of control, but you have Authority or Valor out there, plus Metribuzin out there along with the yellow. And all of a sudden, you've got really good control pre. And then post-emerge, we would like you to follow up with first rate if it's non-ALS resistant common ragweed. Unfortunately, some of the ragweeds resistant to Roundup and the ALS chemistry. So then what are we gonna use? Well, my first mix is first rate flex star i like that mix that way you know generally not all the ragweed is als resistant <laughs> and roundup resistant it could be yep. but but if you've got some that's starting to get that way now you've got the flex star in there to punch it out and take the rest now some farmers will say wait a minute i want a one two like my first app i do flex star with something like cadet that's fine if you get out there early you can do an okay job and then save that flex star for the next shot but keep in mind flex star's got a 10 month rotational yeah, restriction first rate and cadet and then follow with flex star later correct yeah. correct yep. you have to be careful with that flex there. You can't use it too late in the season or you'll have some issues to next year's corn. Well, once again, common ragweed may be ALS resistant. It may be Roundup resistant, but we still have plenty of good options that will control it in almost every crop. That's it for our weed, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.